All right, guys, uh, welcome to another tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to bring 8K files into Avid Media Composer as I was just on a project the other day that we shot with 8K files and um, yeah, so couldn't find much information online so I'm gonna share it here, 8K, go. All right, you just wanna set your format to 8K naturally because that's what we're doing. Click OK um, and open that project. Um, yeah, so got a call the other day from the Netherlands, and uh, the lady was calling about a tutorial that I had done, and uh, that was surprising to me. Netherlands. Way to go. I mean, I thought like zero people watched any of these tutorials. I don't even watch them. I mean, why would I? I'm making them. Okay, so here we are. I uh, just want to bring in, uh, you don't want to import media. Uh, you just want to link it with your source browser. So find your files wherever they are. In my case, right here. Let's go to this day. And then you just want to highlight them all. These are, when you're shooting with the red, Helium 8K is the exact camera that we're filming with. Um, all the files come in in separate folders. So, so if you were to see this in the actual bin, um, let's go, I'll show you what they look like raw. So here's what your red files look like, the RD3 files. And you can't play them in your browser, but you can see an image. It's nice. Okay, so you just want to link those, and they will populate right up here. So yeah, this lady from the Netherlands calls and um, just wanted some more information. And uh, it's pretty crazy. Netherlands, guys. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm becoming a star out there, posting three videos, three tutorials. I didn't know the Netherlands even had computers. All right. So here it is populated almost. Um, just wait. So it takes a second, depending on how many files you have, to you know bring everything in. And I wish I had more to talk about. What? Yeah, here we go. All right, so. Right away, you're gonna notice one thing. You're like, ah, oh, brought my 8K files in, awesome. Uh, I can't scrub through any of it. It's terrible, I can't even play it if I were to push play. That's doesn't matter, we'll get there. You just go to format and this beautiful little proxy mode and you can change it to 4K or 2K. Um, if I'm just scrubbing through footage, um, I'll just do 2K. And suddenly, I mean, it almost acts like you've imported everything in and it's almost, like, I mean, look at this. This is beautiful. I can play it. I can in and out and drop it into my sequence and move it all around. I mean, this is this is nice, guys. Uh, it's a really solid proxy workflow uh, that these files have. Um, I even work with the Sony FS5. Uh, I'll film with 4K files, HD files, whatever it is. They come in. If I AMA link those, I can't even scrub through them, even with the proxy mode on. It's It's pretty rough. But here we are with the red codec it's beautiful now you will notice that um, it kind of looks a little compressed and you're like oh but I'm filming with the red have no fear you simply highlight all your clips right clip click source settings and then go to your linked plugin and change your gamma curve to red log film and all of a sudden you can see it it I don't know what that was all about you can see it's um, nice and flat you just apply to all and it, and it did that I think, and suddenly, uh, here we are, on nice, nice flat clips, looking really good. Um, one thing to keep in mind, if you're exporting, um, if you've got your edit done and you're about to export, you do want to make sure that you turn your proxy off, otherwise it will record, it will export in your proxy mode, which is nice if you're looking for just a quick rough draft to send to people, um, and it exports faster. Um, yeah, that's, that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, a lot of people wonder what's the purpose of, of recording an 8K. Um, if you, if nobody really accepts 8K, that's a good question. Uh, it's a solid question. Um, really, I mean, the only answer I have right now is if you're working in say a 4K or even an HD sequence, let's just pretend you're working in an HD 23.9, you know, sequence and you have these 8K files, you are gonna have some resolution big time to work with, with your frame flex. So I mean, you come in here and you can just like really crank up, 
you know, your scale and it's still like going to be looking good in the HD sequence. Naturally, that's, you know, at a half resolution. So there you go. I mean, it's pretty wild, pretty beautiful actually, but I, I don't know why I would film in um, 8k and export in HD. That just doesn't make sense. I'd probably do something more like 4k, but yeah. All right. Well, Hey, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, uh, personal opinion. I absolutely love filming with the red helium. It was amazing. Had some, you know, things that of course I didn't like about it, but, um, I did think that I was going to have this massive, um, transcoding, um, system set up and I wouldn't be able to get anything done. It's not like that. It's actually pretty amazing. Um, working inside your avid, um, you also have the option to record while you're in 8k record proxies, uh, straight to Avid media files. So if you're on the camera, um, you can actually just dump those into your Avid media files. If you're wanting to work, um, offline or just, you know, like that. And actually it's, it's actually really nice. I haven't been able to figure out though, how to relink them. So I did try it a little bit, but it just doesn't make sense when AMA linking works so nicely with these files. And if you're going to be doing color correction and all that other post work. So yeah, I just didn't see the purpose. Okay. Thanks for watching.